I don't think there's a magic frequency that a woman should do a breast exam. I would suggest it being done at least every three months. The main thing with the breast exam is really being familiar with your breast tissue so you can detect when there's been a change. So the breast is made up of the glandular tissue that makes milk, fat, and fibrous tissue that helps support the breast. When we talk about breast density, we are evaluating that ratio of glandular breast tissue to fatty tissue. So the higher the dilution of fatty tissue is to the glandular tissue, the less dense the breast is. And we have a rating system for breast density. We either use the alphabet of A, B, C, D, A being the least dense, and D being the most dense. So in density A, there's more fatty tissue diluting the breast tissue. In D, there's less of that fatty tissue. When we do a mammogram, we're evaluating that density. We use mammogram to help detect breast cancer. One of the ways that we detect breast cancer is cancers tend to be very dense. As women have a background of normal, very dense breast tissue, it can become more challenging to detect a breast cancer with high density. I think women are concerned whether it may cause them discomfort or pain, and they're scared about the potential answer to a mammogram. But women should do a mammogram because if we can catch a cancer very early, the more treatable it is and the more curable and also maybe less invasive treatment if we can catch a cancer at an early stage. Also, we should be able to perform a mammogram without causing pain. So seeking a second opinion at Mayo Clinic Health System would give you a team approach from the beginning. For all of our breast cancer patients, we do have a team approach that meets regularly. We evaluate your pathology slides and your radiologic images. This gives you multiple opinions without having to make multiple visits. These opinions are valuable because it allows for everybody to be on board with the recommended treatment, following the state-of-the-art guidelines, and give you access to up-to-date additional imaging if needed. To learn more, please click on one of the links on the screen or the description below.